Hello, uh, Stuart here. Um, I am back on this Commodore 64. <coughs> the sound still doesn't work. Um, basically, watch other videos. Now, what I've done is I've ordered a new motherboard from the Tinterwebs. Now, um, basically, this motherboard's not got the PLA, which I've got spare ones, use these ones. Uh, I also don't think there's anything wrong with the other one. It's not got the SID chip, it's not got the VIC 2 chip, um, which is... Oh, cat, hold on. Okay. Hello. I think my cat walked on the uh, keyboard when she came in. Anyway, um, I've been trying to remove the VIC chip here. That side's come out, but this side really is it wanting to come out and I don't know why it's it's come out it's moved but then it's all of a sudden it's got stuck I don't know why I've been trying to clean it with a, a bit of alcohol Don't you dare step on that key. Right, all the chips are in. Uh, that's me old Sid, that's the uh, old PLA. <laughs> Uh, I just wanted to see if that SID is any different. Um, that's the VIC 2 chip. It was a pain in the ass to get it in. That I could not get it in. It took about four or five attempts to get it in straight. Now, in theory, this motherboard is perfectly working fine. Just missing those chips. I'm pretty sure my VIC 2 chip was working perfectly fine. Because... Graphically, there is nothing wrong on the screen. <clears throat> so what we'll do is we'll try to load Robocop. Uh, we'll listen to the music. If it doesn't work, I shall put in the new SID I got from the other one and try that. Because this should be a good idea to find out if it's actually the SID that's at fault or is something on the keyboard somewhere, on the uh, sorry, motherboard. So we'll find it anytime second. Anytime soon. Nothing. So absolutely nothing. <clears throat> Coming out of that sound chip. Remember if you turn it right up, you can't see hear it. nothing so nothing coming out of that so yeah it does look like that SID chip is fecked let's see if the new one I got makes it better okay test number two so it's got the other SID in there took the old SID out there. let's see what happens this time so this will be a night. Well, if it doesn't work, forget the exact the same thing. It's got to be the SID that's faulty, because the uh, SID's done exactly the same thing in two different motherboards. Just waiting for the pop of the SID to happen.
finally have a Commodore 64, like I used to have when I was younger, working. Uh, I'd like to say a big thank you to Gadget uh, UK 164 for helping me out an awful lot. And also to Smooth MJ, he offered me a lot of advice uh, and even offered to uh, test out the SID, which we now know is working. Um, and uh, Ms. Mad Lemon as well, she also gave me some advice, uh, told me where to go to get some help. And also, thank you to everyone who actually helped me do this because I've now got my childhood computer. This is my childhood computer and I've been very excited to get one back. Thank you for sticking with me and I hope to have some gameplay videos up soon. Thanks a lot. Bye.